Hi Thomas! Hi. <laughs> uh, it's very nice to see you here at the Stockholm World Water Week. Thank you. Um, I was wondering, how did the session on Sunday go on the Citizens Observatories? Yeah, so uh, on Sunday we had a, a session with our program, uh, Horizon 2020 program, Ground Truth 2.0, uh, together with uh, IHE, uh, Earthwatch, Stockholm University, Gavagai and us here at Apple. And that, that went really well. It was a, a session where we have five different stations where people can move around and see the different stages of what we do and different explanations of what we do. Uh, and it was very interactive uh, and fun uh, because you could see people got engaged. And we had a system with little puzzle pieces people had to retrieve. And we're, we did something to make people think a little bit extra. And it really worked because we had people really sort of engaged, asked lots of questions, and they, they get a, you know, in the in the uh, World Water Week app, they gave good reviews afterwards. Said, oh, mm -hmm. great session! So yeah, it worked out. We, I think that was successful. Nice, very positive. Yeah. yeah. Um, one of the great things this week was the launching of a new tool, Aqualumen. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more about Aqualumen? Yeah. So Aqualumen, that's our uh, latest piece in our data collection system. Uh, so uh, it, it does uh, you know, take different data sets from both Aqua sources like Flow or from other places, you know, you can do cleaning, you can do transformations of the data, and visualizations like maps and graphs. Uh, it's really, really easy to use, it's the whole purpose of it. Uh, so with a few clicks you should be able to go from data to an actual visualization that, you, that means something to you, uh, just in a few clicks. Uh, and, and we launched that uh, a few days ago, uh, we had a good crowd, people are really interested in what we're doing. And, and uh, what I think is really good with all of this is that when people come and look at our tools now, they don't say, oh, what does this tool do, or I need that tool. They look at the whole suite of things and go, oh, I, I need this whole thing. You know, yeah. It makes sense, because that's how it's been designed. It's a solution to a problem as opposed to just some bits and pieces that you can use and try to figure out yourself. Yeah, sounds very positive. Yeah, it was very, I mean, I, I, you know, my, my right hand is like a little bit crippled because I've been demonstrating Lumen so much that it's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, overall, the whole Stockholm World Water Week, how did you like it? You've been here more often. Could you give us an impression of this 2017 Aquos 11th? Yeah, so uh, this is Aquos 11th time here. It's my 13th time here. and. Um, the, uh, the, uh, for, for us as an organization, it's been very good. Uh, I, I find it a little bit uh, challenging because I think as a, as a, as a whole, uh, we look very similar to what we did a decade ago here. The discussions are moved on a bit, but you know, there's still a lot, there's still a lot to do. And uh, I don't think people have understood digitization of this whole thing that we're working on yet, so digital, even if we're here doing a good job, uh, there, there's still a lot to do actually. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, uh, but you know, the event has been good, some of the sessions have been a lot better than they've been uh, when I started coming here, so there's, a, there's some things evolving here, mm -hmm. uh, but there's still, there's still something missing and I think uh, uh, we think, we try to be part of that that new that needs to come uh, yeah. to make that to make us achieve the sustainable development goals. Yeah. Uh, we also had a session. Uh, we also had a session together with WHO, uh, UNICEF, and the Dutch government um, around uh, from data transition, particularly talking about uh, how to monitor the sustainable development goals for drinking water. Uh, uh, and that's a really appreciated session, actually. Uh, WHO started working, uh, Rick Johnson started presenting the new report that they have uh, uh, around uh, water and sanitation, uh, so the SDG goals, that was really appreciated. Uh, and then the rest of the session was really good with some local uh, uh, governments like Bataan and uh, Uganda, I think it was. That, that sat down and talked about how all of this works in their context. 
uh, and, and I actually I wish that was had been a, a recorded session because I think a lot of people would appreciate that one. And see yeah. that one so that was great. Uh, we talked. Uh, I talked about the development of uh, how to do this at scale using technology, including things like sensors and what's the newest in there. So that, yeah. that was my contribution, and um, uh, it brought in a lot of interest. I had people coming here several days later saying, "Oh, tell me more about what you talked about." So yeah. that was good. Good, it's positive. And um, last question would be, uh, what is the takeaway message? How do we integrate um, these positive interactions with partners and potential new partners uh, into the ACFO work the coming months well, and years? Uh, to be quite frank, I think we're going to be overwhelmed with following up with some of this because there's some really good positive work. Lots of people that we work with already that want to use new things like Lumen or Calisply. Uh, our water quality testing stuff that we have integrated into uh, our uh, suite of tools, as well as uh, uh, scaling up both current work and, and uh, into new areas. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff coming out of this actually. Yeah. Uh, so it's been a good week for us. Okay, thank you very much, Thomas. Yeah. Thank you. See you next year. Maybe. <laughs>